Hi everyone. So today's topic is about um, inverse square law. It's a very interesting topic, yet very confusing at, at times. So the concept is like you have a light, and as the distance is being doubled or increased, the dis- uh, the intensity of light decreases. So at the first meter, I have a hundred percent light, and when I just double the distance, which is of two meters. 75% of the light is decreased that is we just have only 25% so the most dramatic change is happening in the first 2 meters itself all right and when i double the 2 meters to 4 meters again 75% of the 25% is gone so we are just left with 6.25% so as you can see the curve it is so exponential that it starts getting flatter as it goes forward all right so this is a peter hurley's tutorial it's a very interesting tutorial you can watch this uh, it's in the description as well so this is a simple setup i have duplicated some guys and each face is uh, at a distance of two feet from each other so uh, we'll just take a first render and just check how it works out observe the luminance values right down in the render view uh, Let's not consider the exposure values because uh, exposure values might go into negative which uh, would be confusing. So we'll just use the luminance values for a better understanding. Alright, so uh, as of now we have a luminance value of about 1 at the tip of the nose. Alright, so it's somewhere around 1. And now I save the image and I'll hide the first guy. And we'll take the render so basically we're just doubling the distance from two feet to four feet all right so let's take a render so as you can see the luminance values have come down to 0 0.25 which is a very dramatic change from the first character to the second character itself all right so now i'll remove the second and the third i'll we'll just go to the fourth character which is doubling the distance from the second character so now on the th on the fourth character we have a luminance value of 0 0.06 which is just about 25 percent of the second character all right so now as we can as we compare this you can see the drastic change in light information so it is similar to the intensities we have seen in the example So now I'll go to the 8th character and we'll just take a test render. So as you can see, the intensity is so low, it's barely visible. And the exposure value, the, the luminance values have come down to 0 0.018, alright. So um, you can see the intensity difference from the first image to the fourth image which is from the first person to the eighth person so it's a distance of 16 feet altogether so there's a lot of dramatic change in the from the first person to the second person itself a 75 percent of light is being decreased from the per first person to the second person the question is why do i need this concept it's all about the distance right so i don't want to place it too close to the light or too far to the light i would preferably place my subject uh, somewhere about the second third fourth uh, character distance provided the light is at at that particular point position all right so i would preferably place the light somewhere around the second third fourth character all right this would just ensure that I, I don't have unnecessary highlights or unnecessary uh, uh, underexposed values. All right. So uh, now this would vary. This would really vary as the light changes its size. Okay, it can be a change in uh, scale values or intensity or exposure, or it could be even a distance. So a distance also matters a lot. So this is a basic idea of inverse square law and I hope you get the point and as always thanks for watching see you soon